Hey guys, it's Ruby. I know you haven't seen me in a really long time and I've got to be a little quiet because my husband is asleep in the other room. Um, we're on totally different schedules now. He works a 7 to 5 job and I work all evenings. This is my only day off. I'm still at my one retail job and I've picked up another administration job. Um, I've taken the year off from school so the last um, monologue that you saw from me from Shakespeare. I was still in school at that point. I was then on a co-op. I then went back to school but then I left and now I've been working for the past year for two jobs and oh my gosh I didn't realize it was going to be so draining. I've been watching a lot of YouTube as usual. I started my own Instagram so I'll link that down below and my Twitter and my Tumblr. So I'm here today to talk about a company that Mortimer introduced me to. I love Mortimer. I loved her whole box unboxing videos. She talked about this website and I was like hooked right away. I was looking at all the deals. I was seeing everything and now I'm not being paid to talk about this. I just wanted to show you my experience. Now I am Canadian so it's very different so I'm going to give you reviews about that as well. Uh, and such like that. So here we go. Okay, so Hot Look is a lot like um, a discounted department store, but it's online events that have everything from kids, shoes, women, and cosmetics. Up here in Canada, we have a similar store which isn't online, but it's called Holt Renfrew, and you can go into like Toronto and they have stores there that will sell designer stuff that just didn't sell. There is one downside to purchasing from Hotlook, especially because you're Canadian. I purchased this on July 20th and it took almost three weeks to get delivered to my house. Um, and also in particular, um, most of the categories don't actually ship to Canada. So when you're purchasing on Hotlook, uh, they're very selective. Like anything from the homes department, you're not allowed to purchase because it won't ship to Canada. And then there's also the downside that, yeah, there is a discount on this stuff, but you also have to wager in the uh, USD conversion and also there's a tax percentage. So most of the discounted stuff that you're getting for like dollars off you have a 20% um, tax that will be taxed on it um, to bring into customs. So that was great. I just burned myself because of my ghetto light system. So this is the box. As you can see, I've already opened it. I thought it was really cute that they had put tissue paper in in the colors of their stores. Um, as you can see, I already went through everything. I bought from BH Cosmetics. I kind of want to become a beauty guru. These are the brushes that I bought, and these are super soft. This was regularly like $26, and I paid $16 or $10 for them. And it came in this really nice uh, travel case, so I thought that was really cute. It says BH Cosmetics on there. Normally, I don't buy a lot of eyeshadow, um, just because I prefer nudes and that. But as I said, I want to become somewhat more educated in uh, palettes or in eyeshadows or in makeup in general so this is the 60 color eyeshadow palette it's day and night comes in a nice case like this and when you open it it's all these pretty colors and it has like this nice film on it to keep the uh, eyeshadows contained and then I also decided to buy BH Party Girl. These palettes were regularly like 26 as well. And I paid like 10 and $13. I want to go back into my order, but I'm not able to. I might be able to look in the shipping label there. So this is the Party Girl set. There's 40 color eyeshadows in these. Oh yeah, now I remember. These were regularly 16 and I got them for 8 and $6. I really, really like that yellow. And again, it has that film case on it. Now the neatest thing that I thought was in this thing was the free gift that they give you. A gift for you. <laughs> um, I always like 
free stuff so I thought that was pretty nifty that they put that in there. All in all the thing came to $32 and I'm just looking here on my uh, order form. Yeah it was $32 under 50 bucks I got makeup that would cost me like for two eyeshadows at Sephora so thumbs up that was awesome so that is my purchase from holook.com again I wasn't sponsored or anything I just wanted to talk about holook from a Canadian point of view again I know that a whole bunch of people have probably done cosmetic reviews from BH Cosmetics I really haven't tried or swatched the eyeshadow sets yet my overall expectation I would purchase from them again but there's a lot of cons that make me a little hesitant to religiously look at the application on my iPhone after I know that it took three weeks for the cosmetics or the, the product to get here. Um, there was that charge that basically any money that I was saving was going back into taxes or land fees for it coming into Canada. So that's what I mean by the downsides to Hotlook.com. I like the site. I just wish that they would open up their Canadian sites even more. May I mention how awesome my shirt is as well? <laughs> I'm Catbug! I did this with iron-on transfers and Adobe Illustrator and it came out freaking awesome. Bye guys.